evening YouTube. Well, after a couple more days, um, things have progressed significantly. So the honeycomb bed's now installed, uh, all the Z drives now work. Um, I've done some focus tests, which have all worked out pretty well. I've got temporary vacuum extraction running. Um, I had a play around with a number of settings. I've got the Bezier bugs ironed out. And now the laser is doing the first kind of proper cut with all of this configuration done. Um, and it's going very nicely. I've slowed the feed rate right down, just so I can keep an eye on any issues. Um, and also because it gives a very, very clean cut. There are still, every now and again, a comms error that crops up between the host um, and the Arduino. And as far as I can work out, this is crappy Windows laptop not being able to keep up for some reason. Um, working from a Mac, I don't get any issues. Now, I will try and zoom in a bit further on this, so see if you can see the detail in the cuts, assuming the camera can focus. Guessing not. Oh, I'll take some pictures after it, but trust me, it looks very, very nice. So I'm going to leave that cutting. While that's going, I'll give you a, a little quick tour of the changes. So down in the corners, the Z drives and the stepper driver are all installed. Um, that works really nicely. It's got uh, one-eight stepping running on the Z axis, so it's nice and smooth. There's a little micro switch hiding up in there. The honeycomb bed turned out to be pretty easy to install. Um, can't say I've done the best job, and I really should have bought 20 mil honeycomb, not 10 mil. Um, but it's doing the job for now. I might change it at some point fairly soon. But I really need to work on an enclosure first before that's a priority. Um, other things from last time, so I guess the water cooling system's running nicely. Um, actually, while this job's running, the fans uh, over in the radiator are kicking on and off as the temperature changes. Um, it's not happening too much, it's ticking along around. Uh, 22 degrees or just under which apparently is optimal for these sorts of lasers uh, that's probably about it for tonight but I'll let you watch the end of the job as this is about to finish um, I do hope this is in focus it looks alright the other bit I'm going to work on next is software to improve the order in which it does these cuts and there we go, job finished just going to head back over there, home all the axes there we go, job finished. And one experimental letter cut design looking very nice. See you later.